Hey guys, what's up? Nikhil here from Dope Motions and welcome to my brand new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a cool logo reveal which I have named it the Slicer Logo Reveal. Um, now I know it's not a cool name but you know, I just named it so I'll just show you what we're gonna be creating today. Yep, so it looks cool. So let's just hop into After Effects and get started. First of all, create a new composition right there. I like to keep it 1920 into 1080, 30 frames. Okay. So first of all, I'll create a background. So right click, go to new, solid. I'll name it BG for background. I'll just, um, let's see, I'll just keep it right there. Okay, then what I'm going to do is right click, go to new and shape layers. And then add a rectangle and then add a fill I'll change this fill to let's see I'll keep it blue and then what I'm gonna do is come here to the rectangle path click there and uncheck this constraint properties of the size and type in 1920 divide by 6 now I want 6 layers that horizontally will come in so I've typed in 6 now you can type in 8 or 10 or whatever you want and then I'll type in 1080 so a little little bit of math right there yep then I'm, I'll add an effect called crop shadow I use this effect a lot you know it's it's pretty cool effect it gives us a little bit of shadow to our layers and which looks pretty cool I'll keep it 7 and then I'll keep it 3 okay so now what I'm gonna do is you can see as I uncheck the scale and select this properties oh sorry this properties it just comes out from the center so I want this to come out from down to up so what I'm gonna do is I'll just keep rename it 100 and select this and move this anchor point by selecting this tool right here and moving it all the way down now if you have a cool script you can do it directly like I have a script right here motion 2 which is a very powerful and very effective script I recommend to use this script and this does, this does your work you know pretty easily then what I'm gonna do is select this layer hit P to bring up the position properties and I'll move it oh sorry I'll move this to right there to the end yep and then hit S bring up the scale properties and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set keyframes so at zero frames I'll hit the stopwatch um, first of all I'll bring this to zero right there and then what I'm gonna do is come to about 20 frames right there and bring this up to about 100 yep so we got our animation I'll make this to about 25 frames Yep, and I'll just select this keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease it. So we did it. So after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it six times because we want the six layers, you know. So first of all, I'll duplicate it one more time, bring it down, and hit the position properties and bring this to right about there where we want to start it. Yep, then again duplicate it. Bring the third layer to double down hit B for the position and then drag it right there. Now we are gonna do this six times. So it's a little time consuming. You can take your time and place it properly, you know. So I'll come back to you when it's all the six layers are done. Yep, so now I have done with all the six layers, you can see right there. So now what we have to do is we have to misplace it. So for doing that what I can do is I can select this one layer then misplace it one by one but it will take a lot of time so I'll show you guys a quick tip I'll come to about right five frames right there select all the six layers from one to six it is very important to do that from one to six and hit alt and close bracket to cut it up and then go to animation go to keyframe assistance and sequence layers Okay, now what it has done is you can see it has sequenced the layers, but you can see the layers are too short. So I'll drag this up right there. 
to the end of the comp right there yep so now you can see we have got a work done right there looks cool you can see I'll just render it looks so cool yep so that was a little tip for you guys so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this layer and pre-compose it I'll name it the uh, I'll name it just one okay half the way through now what I'm gonna do is so now I'm gonna open this one layer select this all right there hold shift and select it all and then I'll go to file or edit copy come to about comp 2 and edit and paste yep so right there so now you can see this layer right there but they are copy pasted like from 1 to 6 in the wrong order so I'll just control Z go again right here and I'll select from 1 to 6 go to edit copy and edit and paste yep so now we have it so I'll just precompose them and I'll just name it 2 now I can't duplicate it by control D cause <coughs> if I made if I duplicate it and I made the changes in this layers it will automatically do the changes in the second one so now I have copy pasted so this precomposed layers are different and this precomposed layers are different so now I can change the color so let's see I'll, I'll just keep it I'll just I'll just make this uh, yellow right there so I'm just randomly you know like coloring it but you can take your time and do it more precisely you know you know I'm just randomly coloring it yep yep looks good so now what I'm gonna do is we have this two layers so I'm gonna displace the second layer um this first layer and just put the second layer below that so now what we have is we get this you know school thing right there give me space and more now what you can do is you can control and duplicate it one more time go to edit and paste it one more time and precompose it and name it three okay and then again select this all layer and change the color to like I'll make it like let's see this color and then you can again misplace them right there so now what you get it you get this cool animation right there you see it looks so subtle and so cool you know yep so half way through so now what I'm gonna do is first of all let's add a new solid and I'll just keep it black <coughs> and then select the eclipse tool right here double click on it then it will mask it automatically then go to right here, go to inward, then hit F to bring up the feathering properties. I'll just feather it out like there. And then click on this and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. And just make it lower right there. You can see now it looks so cool. Yep. So first it's what like this. Now it looks a little bit, little bit more realistic you can see. Yep. So now you can create a, this cool circle which I showed you in the preview and bring your logo up or text up whatever you want. But in this I'm gonna do it a little differently in this tutorial. So, I, so I'll just go where the slices get filled up to right about 2 seconds and then I'll just pre-compose it one more time. I'll just name it main because it's the main layer and I'll just cut it up but I'll 
close bracket and then control D to duplicate it and then what I'm going to do is right click go to time go to time reverse layer what it has done is it will play the script in a reverse form so it will be played like it gets filled up and then comes out so when it comes out I want my text to appeal so I'll just type in pretty quick to motions yep and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it behind the main script right there and I'll just go to right about there and cut our text because I don't want it to appear before you know when it's there if I put it text all the way through it will appear in the start also so I'll just keep it from right there so now what we have is it will go like this I'll just make it auto come down and our text gets revealed like that so now we can put a little more little bit of animation to our text so I'll just bring up the scale properties go to about right zero right there hit on the stopwatch go a little bring forward and bring up to about 100 so like these and hit F9 to e F9 to ease ease it. So now we have this cool. I'll just put it a little forward and I'll just we have this cool animation right there. You can add the drop shadow effect right there also, so it will make a text look more good. Oops, I'll just let the drop shadow. You can see right there. Make it 80. Or whatever you want, I'll make it six or maybe ten and then fed it out of five. Yep, so looks cool. So that's it for now. I g I hope you guys learned something new today. This was a simple technique you can see right there, which by which you can create this cool logo reveal or title reveal or text reveal. So I'll see you next time in my very new tutorial. So thanks for watching guys.